testosterone boosters. Are they a miracle solution or just another supplement scam? With so many products out there claiming to skyrocket your testosterone levels, it's time to separate fact from fiction. Let's dive into what science really says about testosterone boosters, mobile health apps and whether they can truly raise your T levels. My name is Dr. Stefan Buntrock and I'm a board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. Testosterone boosters or TBs refer to a variety of supplements, typically herbs, vitamins or amino acids marketed to naturally enhance testosterone production. They are popular among men looking to improve muscle growth, libido, energy levels and even mood. But do they actually work? A recent systematic review analyzed 52 studies on 27 different testosterone boosters spanning a variety of ingredients. I will link it in the description. Here's what they found. Ineffective boosters, vitamin D. Most studies showed no significant increase in testosterone. Tribulus terrestris, popular in supplements, but research suggests it doesn't raise T levels in healthy men. Zinc and magnesium, essential for health, but they only boost testosterone if you have a deficiency. Possibly effective boosters, according to this meta-analysis. Uricoma longifolia, Tonkat Ali. Speaking of effective boosters, if you like my content, you can help to boost your channel so that more men are able to receive evidence-based information about urological conditions and men's health. The most effective and proven way is to subscribe to your channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it signals your appreciation for my content. Thank you. Back to Tonkat Ali. Some evidence suggests a mild increase in testosterone, especially in older men. Despite these potential benefits, there are significant safety concerns associated with Tonkat Ali. Genotoxicity. The European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, has raised concerns that Tonkat Ali root extract may cause DNA damage, particularly in tissues that are the first points of contact. Consequently, the EFSA concluded that the safety of Tonkat Ali root extract has not been established for any use. Adverse effects. Reported side effects include insomnia, irritability and restlessness. Additionally, individuals with certain conditions, such as prostate cancer, male breast cancer, diabetes, heart disease, sleep apnea or kidney disease are advised to avoid using Tonkat Ali. Product contamination. There have been instances of Tonkat Ali supplements being contaminated with mercury, posing additional health risks. The next one is Withania somnifera, also known as ashwagandha. There were potential benefits for reducing stress and boosting tea in some studies. However, ashwagandha has been criticized in Germany due to safety concerns. The German Federal Institute for Risk Assessment, BFR, has warned that it may cause health risks and certain people should avoid it. Some reported side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness and skin rashes. It also affects hormones like cortisol, thyroid hormones and testosterone, which could be risky for some users. Additionally, cases of liver injury possibly linked to ashwagandha have been reported and it may interfere with medications for blood sugar, blood pressure and the immune system. The BFR strongly advises that children, pregnant and breastfeeding women and people with liver problems should not take it. Although ashwagandha is often marketed as a natural way to improve stress, sleep and energy, German experts say there is no strong scientific proof for these claims. Because of potential risks and lack of solid evidence, Germany recommends against using ashwagandha supplements, especially for people in risk groups. Then there is betaine and beta-hydroxy-beta-methylbutyrate (HMB). In the meta-analysis, they showed promise in athletes but need further research. But before you go and buy HMB, listen to this. HMB is a metabolite of the amino acid leucine, commonly used to support muscle growth reduce muscle breakdown and enhance recovery. 
It is generally considered safe at doses of up to 3 grams per day with few reported side effects. In rare cases, some people experience stomach discomfort, constipation or itching. Studies show no harmful effects on liver, kidneys or blood lipids, but long-term safety beyond one year is not well studied. The impact of HMB on testosterone levels is not definitely established. Some studies suggest that HMB, especially when combined with creatine monohydrate, may increase testosterone levels. A study involving elite male rowers found that the combination of HMB and creatine supplementation over 10 weeks led to a significant increase in testosterone levels compared to placebo or individual supplementation. However, other research indicates that HMB alone does not significantly affect testosterone concentrations. A meta-analysis concluded that HMB supplementation did not have a significant impact on testosterone levels. Given these mixed findings, the effects of HMB on testosterone levels remain inconclusive. If any increase in testosterone occurs due to HMB supplementation, it is likely modest and may not lead to significant physiological changes. Individuals considering HMB for testosterone enhancement should consult with a healthcare professional to understand its potential benefits and limitations. But supplements aren't the only misleading products in the testosterone industry. Testosterone-related mobile health, mHealth apps, have flooded the market, making big promises without scientific backing. These apps often claim to help users boost testosterone naturally, track their hormonal health, or even provide direct-to-consumer testosterone therapy options. However, the vast majority lack proper medical oversight and mislead users. A recent evaluation of 23 testosterone-related apps revealed some concerning trends. 78.2% of these apps claimed to improve testosterone levels, yet only 8.7% provided scientific references. Most apps focused on sexual performance optimization, but many exaggerated claims about boosting testosterone without clear evidence. Some even promoted unproven supplements or risky self-diagnosis tools. I will also link you this article in the description. So, are testosterone boosters and mobile health apps worth it? The short answer, for most men, probably not. Unless you have a deficiency, the majority of these supplements and apps won't drastically alter your testosterone levels. For most men with a normal testosterone levels, increasing it won't make a noticeable difference. Nevertheless, working out and eating healthy is the foundation of a healthy lifestyle. So before spending money on that next game-changing supplement or app, consider the science. The best testosterone booster, a healthy lifestyle. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel. Remember, a video can't replace a medical consultation. So if you experience any health issues, talk to your doctor. Let me know in the comments, have you ever tried testosterone boosters or apps? What was your experience? Thanks for watching. Bye bye.